I'm Zoe and in this video we're going to be looking at one of the more complex comparison problems that our key stage 2 pupils are going to have to solve. In this we're going to be using some of the techniques that we saw in our previous additive bar model problems so if you haven't watched those videos I suggest you stop this now and have a look at those so you're fully up to speed. This is our problem. Ahmed is nine centimeters taller than Zara. Jack is five centimeters shorter than Ahmed. The total of the three heights is 406 centimetres. How tall is each child? Okay, we're going to use our bar model. We're going to have three because we have three children. We're going to start, we have to decide who is our base height. Now we can see if we have Zara, we can work out Ahmed. So Zara is going to be our base. So Zara is our first bar and she is an unknown number of centimetres tall. Ahmed is going to be our next bar. He's an unknown value of centimetres tall, the same as Zara, but he is nine centimetres taller. So we can put that nine centimetres on the end. Jack is five centimetres shorter than Ahmed. We can see here, if we're going to take away that five centimetres, it's simply the same as having four centimetres taller than Zara. So we still have our unknown, and that is Jack's height. We know the value of all their heights together is 406 centimetres. So now we can solve them as we have done in our additive problems before. So 406, take away our four centimetres and take away our nine centimetres, gives us 393 centimetres. This represents our three unknown bars. Now because in the previous we had two, we've now got three instead of dividing by two we're going to be dividing it by 3. So 393 divided by 3 gives us 131 centimetres. That's our unknown. We can now put this back into our bar model. So Zara is 131 centimetres. Ahmed is 131 plus the 9, which gives us 140 centimetres tall. Jack is 131 plus our four centimetres, so Jack is 135 centimetres. Now I would encourage the children to check that this adds up to 406 centimetres, just so they can see whether they're correct. And that's how we use our bar model to solve really quite complex comparison problems.